back inside Matthews Arena, all tied at 57 apiece, but the Huskies with a chance to take the lead as Quincy Ford has a shot at a three-point play. A nice passing play by Northeastern. Black to Ford. Gets that shot to roll through after taking the contact, and good patience right there to wait for a second until he had the opportunity to go up, take a clean shot at the hoop. Quincy Ford, pretty good free throw shooter on the year at 76%, two of four from the stripe thus far on the night is the freshman Ford in the hunt for CAA Rookie of the Year. Ford, all net on that free throw, gives the Huskies a one-point lead. Northeastern falling back into that 3-2 zone defense. Entry is inside, and the whistle goes against Ford as Bennett drew the contact. And so Ford came over late there and kind of overly swatted. Too much contact right there. Huskies collapsing down low. It's a fourth foul on Quincy Ford. You see seven points. Bill Cohen gets Reggie Spencer up off his bench. As Ford maybe sitting out with those four personals. He is indeed. Spencer replacing Ford on the floor as Bennett can't connect on the first to two. Each side with six team fouls. So both sides in the bonus from here on out. As Bennett, redshirt sophomore out of Linden, New Jersey, can't connect on either free throw. Huskies cling to a one-point lead. Good rebound defensively there for Kari Black. A bit of a long shot off the rim. Huskies now only being out-rebounded by two from Mason. Northeastern out shooting George Mason from the free throw line. A few extra points there could be the difference with just over seven minutes to go. Lee, one of three Huskies in double figures. Skips it over to Black, far side wing. Five on the clock. Black tried to find Smith in the corner. Good steal that time by Bennett. Yeah, and a nice easy read there. George Mason, they're going to let Kari Black stand on the wing all day from the three-point line. He's not going to take any three-point shots. They know that. They're collapsing and looking for his pass. Where is he going to go? And right there, they read it all the way. Nice easy steal. 12th steal of the game for George Mason as Bennett launches up an 18-footer. Good for two. Puts the Patriots back in front by a point. Yeah, Paris Bennett with the foot on the line. Nice good shot for George Mason. Gives them the lead right back. Bennett makes up for a couple of missed free throws. Whistle goes on Cornelius, who wasn't happy with it. Seventh on Mason and John Lee will be shooting the one and one. Yeah, and not a good foul if you're George Mason here in a close game. Not too much time left. You don't want to send John Lee, one of the better free throw shooters on this Huskies team, to the line when he hasn't even made you earn it. 20 turnovers in the game for Northeastern. George Mason with 18. As it has been a sloppy basketball game. John Lee knots things up at 59 apiece on that free throw. Big second half, Jared, for John Lee. As he has scored eight of his 13 points here in half number two. And he's been effective from the free throw line as well. Adam, six of seven on the night from the stripe. Second on the way for the junior out of Flint. Puts the Huskies back in front by a point, 60 to 59. As we continue to seesaw back and forth here at Matthews Arena. Inside a six and a half to go. George Mason looking to keep pace at the top of the conference. Came in 14 and two, tied with Drexel for the best record in the CAA. Bennett gets the catch in the high post. Lobs it inside for Morrison. The entire Northeastern defense collapses, but Morrison able to connect anyway. And Morrison gets the ball and just goes right to the hoop. He just goes up with the shot so quickly. It's so tough to defend. He gets open for a second, and he can make you, make you pay. 17 in the game for Morrison as Paul Hewitt up off his bench. George Mason nearly came up with another steal. Huskies get the entry into Spencer. Clearly uncomfortable with the catch. Lee dropped off for Edwards on the baseline. Connects and another chance at a three-point play for Kashif Edwards. 17 in the game for the senior out of Philadelphia. Puts the Huskies back in front. And another play for Kashif Edwards. He's not the tallest guy out there at 6'5", and he struggled with that sometimes this season in the CAA. But John Lee finds him. He goes up for the shot right to the hoop and gets the roll. Everything falling right now for the senior. Well, Jared, we were talking to Bill Cohen before the game that 